By the end of this WordPress website development course, you will be able to build your own full-fledged business website from scratch. And I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Hi, my name is CM Manjunath. I'm a digital marketing trainer and consultant. And in this course, I'm going to show you how to build a WordPress website for a gym. But whatever knowledge and skills you're going to gain as a part of this course, you can apply to any industry, any website that you want to build. So without further ado, let's dive in. Here's a little overview of what you're going to get as a part of this website development course. Before you start, you need to understand certain concepts. So that's where we are going to begin like step zero, really the things that you should understand even before you dive into building your own website. And to build your own website, there is a cost involved. And because this is a WordPress website, there is going to be a domain name and a hosting account and WordPress that needs to be installed as well. And I'm going to talk about the three-step process, a 3S process that I'm going to show you step-by-step step how you could build your website, even if you're an absolute beginner. Now, you don't need to have any technical skills or knowledge to build your own website. Back in the days, you had to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Not anymore. With an amazing content management system called WordPress, you can do all of that very efficiently and easily. So, Here's what you need. Number one, in order to build your own website, you need a domain name. A domain name is like your business name. Facebook.com, Google.com, these are all domain names. So in order to have your own website on the internet, you got to have a domain name and we are going to go about signing up for that. Number two is hosting. In order to have the content put on your website, such as the text, the images, the videos, and all that good stuff that goes into the website needs to be stored someplace. Now, this someplace is a computer elsewhere, and that computer will be up all the time. It'll be up and running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. At least that's what is expected. So we want to store all that content on your website someplace which will be available for the public so that when they go to yourwebsite.com, they'd be able to get that information from that computer. That's what a hosting is. So in order to have your website, a hosting is a must. So we need to sign up for that as well. Number three, like I already said, building a website has become super easy. If you know how to send an email, now you can build a website. It's that simple and it's possible with this amazing, amazing content management system or CMS called WordPress. The majority of the websites on the internet right now use WordPress and that's very powerful. And that's what you're going to learn in this course. So what is the cost involved? When you think about the domain name, like I said, for your business, you, you need to spend about 869 rupees. This is Indian national rupees. It's not US dollars. It's 869 rupees per year. And for the hosting services, it's about 3,588 rupees per year. The taxes are 18%. So the total comes up to 5,260 rupees to build a website or at least to get the domain name and hosting services right now. But don't worry about it right now because you are going through this training and there's a special offer going on. You're going to get it at a very cheap price. Okay. This is going to be at around 3000 rupees, which means you shell out about 250 rupees per month. That's all. You spend that money when you go for a snack outside, right? So for the entire year, it's about 3000, 3200 rupees is all you need to shell out. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So that brings me to the last step in this overview. And that is the 3S method that we're going to use. Now, this process involves one setup. The first S is setup. Here's where I'm going to help you sign up for your domain name and hosting, and we're going to install the WordPress. It's going to be awesome and super easy. And trust me, it's going to be efficient for you. Number two is the settings. Now, once you install the WordPress, 
we're going to go through the entire WordPress settings process. We'll look at what each one of them do. That way you'll understand what you need to get going on your website. And last but not the least, we will style the website. So that's setup, settings, and styling. Styling is all about designing your website step by step. And for that, we are going to use a beautiful page builder called Elementor, one of the most powerful page builders on the planet right now. So there you have it. WordPress website development course for absolute beginners, step by step, from scratch for an actual business. All right. I hope you are as excited as I am. I'll see you in the next video in this course.